Hi, this is Rob Sheps, and I wanted to talk today about Wayne Shorter's uh, records on Blue Note that are written for three or more horns. And uh, he started writing this kind of music with Art Blakey's Jazz Messengers for trumpet, tenor sax, and trombone. And there are a lot of good examples of that, but there are three classic records of Wayne's on Blue Note that I'd like to talk about today. One of them is Schizophrenia, one is The Soothsayer, and one is The All-Seeing Eye. These are the musicians who are on these records of Wayne Shorter's that I'm talking about today. Wayne Shorter on tenor saxophone on all three records. James Spaulding on alto saxophone, Curtis Fuller on trombone, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, and variously either McCoy Tyner on piano or Herbie Hancock on piano, Ron Carter on bass, and Joe Chambers on drums or Tony Williams on drums. The sextet records that Wayne Shorter made here on Blue Note, the first one is The Soothsayer, where the front line is a kind of a standard horn line of trumpet, alto sax, and tenor sax. Then Schizophrenia is another sextet record with, a, with an unusual horn line. There's no trumpet, there's alto sax, tenor sax, and trombone. And then finally, the third CD or, or album in the trilogy is The All-Seeing Eye, where Wayne brings together all four elements. There are four horns, trumpet, alto, tenor, and trombone. Okay, uh, so we're here talking about these Wayne Shorter sextet and septet records on Blue Note. Uh, the first one, The Soothsayer, just so happens to have been recorded 50 years ago today, the day we're making this video, I can't believe it, March 4th, 1965, it's currently March 4th, 2015. So that's when The Soothsayer was made. Uh, then the septet record with four horns, The All-Seeing Eye, was made October 15th, 1965. And Schizophrenia, which is probably the most forward-looking of the three albums, uh, was made March 10th, 1967. Um, I neglected to mention that on the All-Seeing Eye, Gratian Moncour III plays trombone instead of Curtis Fuller. And there's one tune, a guest appearance by Wayne's brother, Alan Shorter, on flugelhorn, but that's not really so germane to the, the proceedings. Um, Wayne Shorter's always on a quest on the Soothsayer, he's writing for three horns, much like he did with Art Blakey's Jazz Messengers. Um, they're all playing the same rhythms, they're playing tutti rhythms, and he's writing three-note chord voicings. Um, but two years later on Schizophrenia, Wayne is always growing. He's 80 years old now, and he's still being incredibly creative. So on the opening tune on Schizophrenia, Tom Thumb, it's a boogaloo, which is a real typical opening track on Blue Note records of the era, like Lee Morgan... Um, the Sidewinder, and the Rump Roller. It was a commercial ploy to have a Boogaloo first on the record uh, because maybe it would become a hit, and the Sidewinder did become a hit. So Tom Thumb, um, he uses the alto sax to do one thing and the tenor and the trombone to do something else, playing the melody. So he's given them separate parts, and he's implying a little big band, which is a little more a forward-looking use of three horns than what he did on the Soothsayer two years earlier. Um, then on the tune, Schizophrenia, the title tune, he has the horns answering each other, implying the duality of the title of Schizophrenia. And on that record, it's been remarked that Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, and Joe Chambers, the rhythm section, that they're pushing boundaries, they're extending and playing with rhythm, much like uh, Herbie and Ron did in Miles's band that was current at that time with Tony Williams on drums, and Joe Chambers is equally adept and open uh, a, a partner to let them do these kinds of things. Wayne gets the most out of three or four horns and the results are fantastic. Um, these three albums, taken as a trilogy, form a unique thesis on sextet and septet writing in the 60s and on Blue Note.